Hi, I'm Jeff Hewitt from Perry, Iowa. I went to school at Iowa State University, received my major in agricultural business and a minor in agronomy, came back to a local farming operation here in Perry where I've been able to work with a farmer and farm a little bit on my own, and um, farmed all my life, grew up doing it. We utilize a DB120 planter on our farm, previously a DB90, and when using those two big planters with bulk fill systems, we saw a lot of problems with compaction in the main rows. Rows being affected by the extra weight in the main frame, um, what's commonly referred to as pinch rows. And we felt like that was something that, if could be alleviated, we would try to s seek something that could help that. During the growing season, we were able to see some pretty interesting results from the track till spikes that were specifically made. It was interesting to see the root fibers growing in that spike that you did not see where we had raised the track till out of the way. That surely indicates that there's some type of yield response. Some of the yield results that we got coincided with some of the visual differences I could see in the field. We did a couple plot areas with Iowa State University, and it was interesting to me as I combined those plots and then took those plots back to the way cart that you could actually see some difference in tassels as you came across the field. Some of the things that intrigued me about track till were the ideas that we wouldn't have to go to a smaller planner or multiple planners with multiple operators. We could go with our main large DB120 planner, outfit it with track till, and help alleviate the pinch row symptoms. Some of the concerns that we had with using track till was that there had been no other track till systems in place at the time, that we were then in fact the guinea pig and needed to make sure that uh, it would be able to hold up against planting all those acres at a continuous speed, even though those speeds are not typically high speed, but be able to hold together. That was definitely one of our main concerns. After the, using the system over about 5,000 acres, we learned that the, the track till was going to hold up very well. I was very surprised to see that not only in perfect running conditions did track till turn properly, I was contemplating lifting them up out of the way in some muddy spots and decided to leave them down. I got out to make sure that my seed tubes weren't plugged and my disc openers weren't plugged and I noticed that the track till system actually helped hold that main frame out of the wetter, muddier, mucky areas than what I had planned. They continue to turn the way that they're designed is there's always a spike either entering or exiting the ground and that just shows me that it's going to be able to hold up in any adverse conditions. One of the main concerns that you have with, with track till or anything that's uh, running across the ground is what happens if you run into a rocky conditions. And it, it seems like the track till is able to absorb any of those rocks that came about. In fact, when the tire actually hits it on the planter first, it seems to poke that rock into the ground a little bit and it makes track till skip over it without missing any beats. I never plugged anything up using track till. It, uh, it, its turning capabilities were never an issue. The way that our planter is set up, being 120 feet, it also matches up with our sprayers that are also 120 feet. It never seemed to be any issue with running that sprayer down the same tracks. It still kept the ground very firm, with also being able to physically see that water was infiltrating down through the ground properly. One of the things that we noticed last spring on our track till fields was we had a very untimely snow event around the first part of May. I was able to snap a few pictures of the 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 snow that was not in the tracks compared to the snow that was in the tracks. It shows me that there was some type of maybe ground warming benefits to having it a little better aerated and there was no snow accumulating the tracks. I think any producer that is concerned about the amount of weight that gets put on a central fill planter these days would benefit from using track till because it's not forcing him to go back to individual row boxes or smaller planters to keep the weight off the main frame.